The secret to achieve the so-called cinematic bloom or cinematic glow in Photoshop is the high pass filter. To be more specific, the inverted version of the high pass filter combined with the soft light blending mode. Now I'm going to show you how to achieve this effect on a daytime photo, on a nighttime photo, and stick around till the end for a bonus tip regarding this effect and an announcement. Now let's jump into Photoshop. I'm going to start with the night photo because here I can show you the effect in its full force. Right click on the background layer, duplicate layer. Give it a name if you want, I'm just going to leave it as that. Click OK. And from the blending options menu, switch from normal to soft light. Now go to image, adjustments, and go down to invert. Also remember the shortcut. Next, filter, other, and high pass. For my style of photography and my camera sensor, 35 pixels is enough. You might go with less depending on your style and your camera or with more. It's up to you. I stick with 35 on all my photos. Click OK and this is it. This fast, especially for a photo like this where you have a huge light source and everything just fades into the shadows. And this is also at 100% opacity. Now we're going to switch to the daytime photo and here we are going to play with the opacity. Now instead of right clicking and duplicating the layer, I want you to click on the background layer and press Ctrl or Command J on your keyboard to duplicate. And as I already mentioned, if you go to Images, Adjustments and Invert, we have a shortcut which we're going to use. Ctrl or Command I to invert. Now if we go to Filters, we can see at the top of the list our previous use filter. So we don't have to go through other and high pass. So just click on it. It will give you the exact amount you had before. So in my case, 35 pixels. Now let's switch the blending mode from normal to soft light. And this is how it looks at 100%. This is too much for this image. So we're going to take the opacity slider and tone it down a little bit, maybe around 45%. Let's see before, after, and this is the effect. This is the so-called cinematic bloom or cinematic glow effect on a night photo and on a daytime photo. Now for the bonus tip that I mentioned, you can also apply this effect to your skin to get a smooth skin effect. Let me show you how. The process is the same. Click on the background layer, Control or Command J to duplicate, Control or Command I to invert, go to filter, high pass and change the blending option to soft light. Now to get the effect to be applied only on our skin, we're going to use a mask more specifically an inverted mask. So press and hold Alt or Option on your keyboard and click on the mask icon. This way we get an inverted mask. If the mask was a regular one, the square would have been set to white. Next, press B on your keyboard to get the brush, right click and hardness has to be at zero. So we have a soft round brush, the size, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. And one last thing, Make sure that your foreground color is not set to black, but to white. Click on these two arrows to change them. We need white to paint in the effect. Black is for painting out, white is for painting in, in the case of an inverted mask. So let's start painting. As you can see, we have smooth skin, it glows, but the effect is too strong. So let's drop the opacity down to around 60%. Now this looks perfect. The skin is somewhat smooth, it glows a little bit, and we can still see the pores in the skin. And that is how you achieve this effect in Photoshop with a few simple steps. Now before we go, I mentioned there is an announcement I want to make. And that is, I'm going to add video tutorials to this channel. The software of choice is DaVinci Resolve for two main reasons. One, it's completely free, and you get almost every tool that you have in the paid version. And the second reason, you have video editing, audio editing, color grading, visual effects, motion graphics, and even a delivery module all in one package. You don't need separate software. So if you enjoyed my content so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when these new videos will drop. Now before I go, here's another interesting tutorial you might want to watch, and here is a very helpful playlist. Until next time, take care.